This homework solutions video is for Science and Mechanics, Unit 4, Torque and Rotational Motion, Section 2, Gears and Belt Drive Pulleys. Number 1, calculate the torque on each gear. So in this problem we have gear A as the driver gear and a force of 20 pounds is acting on gear A. The radius of gear A is 9 inches and the radius of gear B is 3 inches. The first thing that we need to do is convert these radii from inches into feet. So we can divide each of them by 12. So 9 divided by 12 is equal to 0 0.75 feet. And 3 divided by 12 is equal to 0 0.25 feet. Now that we have the radii in feet, we can calculate the torque, which is equal to the force acting on the gear times the radius. So we're going to calculate the torque for gear A and gear B separately. So the torque of gear A is equal to the force, which is 20 pounds, multiplied by the radius of 0 0.75 feet. So the torque of gear A is 15 foot-pounds. So then over to the right, we're going to calculate the torque on gear B. So on any gears in a gear train, the force will always be the same throughout that entire gear train. In this problem, we're going to ignore any losses of force due to friction. So this is an idealized situation. So the force acting on gear B is going to be the same as the force acting on gear A, which is 20 pounds, multiplied by the radius of gear B, which is 0.25 feet, so the torque acting on gear B is equal to 5 foot-pounds. Number two, calculate the angular speed of gear E. So here we have several gears that are in a gear train. We have gear A as the initial driver gear that has 72 teeth and it's rotating at 120 RPM. Gear B has 12 teeth. Gear C has 24 teeth, gear D has 60 teeth, and gear E has 48 teeth. So the speed at gear E is equal to the speed of gear A multiplied by the gear ratio. So the number of teeth that gear A has divided by the number of teeth that gear B has. So we're going to be multiplying by the number of teeth of one gear divided by the number of teeth of the driven gear for every place where the, where the teeth mesh. So the teeth mesh here between gears A and B, and next between gears B and D. So gear B is driving gear D. So we're going to multiply by the number of teeth that gear B has divided by the number of teeth that gear D has. And then gear D and gear C are both on the same shaft, and their teeth do not mesh, so we don't multiply by any ratio of D to C, but gear C's teeth do mesh with gear E's teeth. So we take the number of teeth of gear C divided by the number of teeth of gear E. So now that we have our setup figured out, now we can substitute, it, substitute in all of the number of teeth. So speed A is 120 RPM. So A has 72 teeth, B has 12 teeth, and again B has 12 teeth, D has 60 teeth, and then C has 24 teeth, E has 48 teeth. So when we take 120 times 72 divided by 12 times 12 divided by 60 times 24 divided by 48, we get a speed for gear E of approximately 72 RPM or 72 revolutions per minute. Number three. Find the angular speed of pulley B. 
So this problem will be handled very similarly to the last one, only now we're looking at pulleys instead of gears. So with pulleys, the driven speed, so the driven revolutions per minute of pulley B way down here is equal to the initial driver speed of pulley A multiplied by the ratio of the driver diameter divided by the driven diameter. And then we'll multiply by this same ratio every time we have a different belt. So first we're going to count the number of belts that we have in this problem to know how many of these ratios we're going to be multiplying by. So we have one belt there, another belt off to its left, and then the third belt goes around pulley B. So we have three belts in this problem, so we're going to be multiplying by three of these ratios. So again, our driven speed is equal to the initial driver speed of 200 RPM. And again, pulley A is driving this pulley that has a diameter of 12 inches, we're told. So pulley A's diameter is 20 inches. And we'll divide that by the 12 inches. So now this pulley is on the same shaft as the smaller pulley with a diameter of 8 inches. So now this one will be the driver, we'll put 8 inches on top, and the one that it's driving is this pulley at the top with a diameter of 16 inches. So again, the larger pulley with a diameter of 16 inches is being driven by the pulley with a diameter of 8 inches. And then lastly, again, this larger pulley is on the same shaft as the smaller pulley here with a diameter of 8 inches. So now this pulley is driving pulley B, so 8 inches for our diameter, divided by 4 inch diameter. Now that we have the problem set up, we can multiply across. So we can take 200 times 20 divided by 12 times 8 divided by 16 times 8 divided by 4, and that should give us the speed of pulley B. So the speed of the driven at B is equal to approximately 333 revolutions per minute.